hello welcome to special data hub in this video i'm going to show you how to add features to google Earth pro so you can add points lines and polygons we'll start with points on your toolbar you'll see here add placement marker sorry so you see add placement marker once you click on it it adds a placement marker to the center of the map so if we are to name this point, let's name this stadium. So we can call it, edit the name here, National Stadium. And then you can see the coordinates here, if that's relevant to you, which is one of the most important features anyways. Then you can add an image from your local computer or from the web for the description. You can write any other parts of your description, anything that you want here. Then you can adjust the styling. First, let's adjust the icon, just in case you didn't catch that. You click on this menu here. And then you can adjust the icon to anything that really matches what you are working with mm. i don't know anything let's say there's a train station by this by the national stadium right yeah you can also on this icon you can adjust the colors you can adjust the scale the opacity and all of that once you're done you click on ok so if you're cool with the icon, you can adjust the style and the color. You can change the color of your label. You can, this label now being the text which you have entered. You can change the scale, you can change the sizing. It's too big. Yeah, and then the color of the icon here. So all of this can be done here. When you're done with, when you're good with everything, you click on the key. If you right click on each feature, you can adjust, you can always adjust the properties and then view, you can always see the coordinates and every other detail associated with it. You can add a date to a timestamp to your, to the feature which you just collected. Then if you have to add a polygon feature, if you have to add a polygon feature, it's basically the same thing. You just click, click 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 and then you can save it as what you want polygon you can enter a description you can change the styling the label you can change anything you want this is the lines the outline you can change the color of the outline. You can change the the inner color. Let's play funny with that. You can also change. Okay, yeah, this is where we are. You can also check the measurements of the polygon and adjust the uh, units of measurement. You can. Add a description that's for polygons when you're done with it you click on ok you can create a line feature to create a line feature you click on new parts add part so along a path you just click click if you are trying to negotiate a curve all you need to do is just zoom in properly and click on more points so that it captures the curve along the route. When you're done, you edit your properties, path, length, anything. You add a description, special data hub. Do well to subscribe, like, and share my videos so that others can benefit too. I can. Then you can adjust the color of the path. This is red. Let's go green. 
yep you can check the length of the part if you want and adjust the units of measurement all of these things can be played around with when you're done with it you click on okay now here's something else you can export each feature as a kml or kmz file let's see to save to my places no not that save places save places you select your preferred directory and then it takes automatically the name you can select if you want kmz or kml and then you save this feature so you can use that feature into any other GI software application like ArcGIS, KGIS, as the case may be. But what I prefer to do when I have multiple features is that I create a folder. To create a folder, right click on my places, you see add, add folder. Call it anything you want, special. Click on OK. And then you now click on these features which you have created. All of these features are ours, right? Hold down shift and click and then move them into special. So that when you click this out, they are gone. So when you can now export this image, this feature as one. So so when you are importing these features into QGIS, you will now be able to select, okay, I want this or I don't want that. That's it. So you can always play around with any of these places here and any of the settings and properties which you want to try out. So that'll be it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to save your image as a JPEG and PDF. Can you stick around?